very, very well. All right, here's a corner kick here for the crew. Duncan Otten has it lined up in minute 35. Out swinger. And it out. And Otten keeps it in. Second chance right here. And a good save. That's a post there by Marvin Phillip. And then the crew not able to convert the rebound effort. Oh, you see they're picking up the tempo. They're elevating the attacks, committing more players into the area. There's just a slip from Jason Gary right there. He's trying to pull around it. Now, one thing to give credit to Mendoza is just the way that he engineered that movement through the midfield was fantastic. You know, they've been missing that type of creativity. They only get that really from Guillermo. 36-minute Columbus. Joe Public still yet to get on the board of this one. Let's good look at Derek King, manager for Joe Public, and they are not off to a good start to the season 11 points behind the pro league leaders defense force that's after finishing first last year in the pro league and winning five different trophies ball coming in from Hayden Tinto and Joe Public can earn themselves a corner kick here Look at the uh, half moon hovering above Cruz Stadium. Yu Hoshide takes the corner. Decent header but right at Andy Gunabam. Ball played out of the back there. So it'll be a throw in here for the crew in the 38th minute. Otten takes it. Gets it back. Ball over to the right. I think you saw Derek King a moment ago. If he comes in at the break, 0-0, he's got to be happy and fortunate. But for Robert Vogil, who we just saw a moment ago off the bench, he's got to think about who he would introduce to revolutionize the second half and look for that important goal. Mendoza to the right to graffiti the final execution of quality on those type of crosses and you know, decision making maybe there you want to angle something back secure so you, at least you get a conclusion where you're shooting on goal but the build up has been good the energy has been good the intensity of recovering there's going to be ebbs and flows where Joe Public will get some breaks and counters but overall I think it's been pretty good performance for Columbus in the first half I'm definitely impressed by Ekpo on the right Mendoza has shown some good skill up front. Otten battling for the ball with Michael Lewis, and Otten wins it. Nice cut back there. And the foul committed by Michael Lewis. Now, one of the things that Robert Vazi had said is we're going to take a look here again. Last time you saw that Duncan Alton was called, this time he gets the call in his favor. But he said, you know, we're going to rotate players and we're going to prioritize particular games. I mean, the U.S. Co Open Cup is important, MLS. We're sitting four port points in front of New York. We also want to try our players, want to win the Supporter Shield again. You know, so it's, at times we're going to see other players. And this is good to strengthen your team of 23, 24 players. Daniel. Gets it back on the right. And foul drawn right there. Another free kick as Francis committing the foul. There's Goodrich. Moving forward from his defensive duties. Good job in the midfield there by Burns. And 
Mendoza, just a little too much on that touch, though. And again, he wants to caress it and receive it in tight with his body with his left. And that's his downfall on that little movement. Oshide. Swing it over to Goodrich. Brenner to Chad Marshall. 41st minute, still no score here between Columbus and Joe Public. Ekpo actually moving from the right wing over to the left here. Shot deflected. There's Graffiti. He and Ekpo have actually switched wings. Yeah. And I think that's smart, you know, to break the pattern. You find a player that's getting success, you put him a little bit more central. Good move from Vazia. There's a golden Ooh. chance. Oh, and he skies the shot, Jason Gary. And this is the one we were just talking about. Rather than a poor cross, Burns has the presence of mind to angle that back at the feet of Gary. And you see that Mendoza that was closing in at the near post. He wanted one additional link up. Good effort right here from Graffiti to go down early. He plays him through with impeccable timing. You can see Mendoza right there at the near post. Good ball from Burns. Unselfish pass. Logica. Just a little frustrated, I think, Christopher. Yeah. Well, you look at the best teams in the world, whether it's Barca, Chelsea, Milan, they're always playing that angled pass back. Well, that's a good move down the left. Joe Public cut it off. Yeah, I think the difficult decision for Eddie Gap, uh, for Robert Vosier is going to be which players you take out because the energy from the crew is extremely well. He wants to keep the right balance and secure, you know, to recover the ball defensively in their shape. But at the same time, you need that extra little touch. And you see that piece defensive pressure down, yeah. in the middle here. But going back, I mean, how do you, you have a player like Jason Gary, you have the attacking presence, that reference point up top with Mendoza. So it'd be if you want to put a little more Miles on the legs of Barros Esquiloto. You can put him in the place of Jason Gary. And then one of the two midfielders, whether it's Burns or Moffitt, pull one of them out and insert Eddie Gavin. And that kind of ignites your team. You know, it gives you a little more creativity, gives you a little more rhythm, more combination play, better short exchanges as you go forward, and more goal power as well. I think that would be the logical changes if you want to look for that important goal. Baptiste limping off here but he should be able to shake off the hard tackle. Forty-fourth minute, Columbus Joe Public still scoreless. Good, good ball movement on both sides, but just the finishing, Christopher, hasn't been as sharp as it needs to be. Yes, that's always been the story in these type of games. You know, after the long travel, it's difficult for the players to get up sometimes because you don't get the same type of crowds you enjoy on the weekends where it's packed and there's a lot of meaning. That's a good point. I mean, middle of the week, kids at school, so you don't usually have the, the youth groups out there creating the energy that you get on the weekends. Now these guys are Well, yeah, the other crew supporters are yeah. always out. The North Deck is always... All right. Here's Hoshide lining up the corner kick. 44th minute. Push in the box. Will go the way of Columbus. As Hislop called for the elbow in the back. Yeah, I think it was Hislop who scored the first goal against Santos when they lost 5 2. Oshida. Scored the second one. There's a lot. There's good physical, athletic ability from Joe Public, but they haven't done really anything at this point to Columbus. And so if you're Robert Vigia, you know you're secure. You're recovering at will more than you would in a in a normal game. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of getting that first goal. Then you can play it out with good possession and manage the flow. Here's Columbus looking to break down the right. Gary dispossessed. Good defending there. 
Once again by Joe Public. Baptiste coming all the way back from his forward spot. You don't see that very often. Yeah. Uh, he wants contact. He hasn't been able to find the ball. The service that he's getting is always in the air. It's been squeezed and cut out every time and time again from the back four of Columbus. But I think on the other side, Jason Gary, because of the positioning of Mendoza, he's playing a little bit deeper off. And so he hasn't found his best rhythm. He's fighting. He's working for the team. He's trying to get to the white points. 